guys, Iggy here, Faltech Unlimited. Welcome to my channel again. And uh, today I'm going to show you something that a lot of people don't really know, um, or at least are afraid to uh, to do it. But I always see this question asked. I always get a uh, request to do it. So I actually finally have an order for it, and um, I'm going to do it. So I have here a uh, We the People, that way, it's backwards obviously, um, EDC tray. This tray is made from Plan B holsters by Oliver. I've had this for quite some time, and uh, if you notice, it has zero holes in it for vacuum forming. Now, generally, these are made specifically for vacuum form only, and I am not doing the vacuum form. But yes, I do have a vacuum former. You've seen it in other videos, but this one, I've always had good luck, and um, this is the reason why they call me the foam king. So, we're going to cut our piece. This particular one is going to be chocolate brown, and if you notice, it is about... An inch on the sides, two inch on the top and bottom. Um, so, but you just need it big enough to cover it. This particular size is the max my oven will do. So I'll throw that on there. Got your one piece on top. You don't need two. You need one. But take some foam that you have. I have three layers of foam here. All right, it don't matter. Put that on the bottom. But I'm going to lift this way up so I can clear it because. You will need that. So it's going to take about three minutes for this to hit 360, 370 degrees. For this, you want to go a little bit hotter than a um, IWB or an OWB, generally because you got all these little nooks and crannies to get into. So uh, this, I'm not preheating or anything. Kydex is in the oven, and I'll be back once it's time, and I'll show you a, another little trick. It is currently about 20 to midnight right now. And uh, I literally have been working since I got up this morning. Uh, I went to bed at 2 o'clock last night, yesterday morning, or this morning rather, I went to, two, uh, went to bed at 2 a.m. Like I said, it's almost midnight right now. Tomorrow I am working open to close at my buddy's shop. And uh, then I'll be back to doing this again. And I have knocked out like four orders off my list, so I'm doing good. And um, that is going to make the difference in your business and absolutely everything you do is the amount of, I'm not going to say obsession on doing it, but how passionate you are in doing it. So burn the midnight oil, spend the time and perfect your craft. All right. Cause you don't want to put out some crappy looking holster. I literally have a bin right here. Check this first though. I literally 243 have a bin of holsters that people bring in and I trade like so look at this one this is a CZ P01 with a TLR HL1 look how crappy this is this is my my local competition and I've had this holster for like four years and I show people like look at the lines on that look how terrible that is it doesn't it even cut the the flask off there this is just this is brutal and the guy carried it and so I gave him my holster, and, and he, he couldn't believe it. So there's that one. Um, let's see here. What else have I got? This one isn't really that crappy. Customer of mine bought it, and uh, well, it's not mine, but it's .06 Kydex. So it's wicked flimsy. And, um, yeah, this, there's no side channel. Or the, it's massive. But I have so many crap holsters from other companies. I'm not going to say the names of the companies, but damn. Anyways, so yeah. So perfect your craft and don't put out junk like this because if you're seriously selling this, like, don't. That's just terrible. So we're at 324 currently. And like I said, for this particular uh, setup, we're going to go about 350, 360. Um, or not 350, about 370. Anywhere between 360 and 370. Let's get this back in there. Good. There we go. So again, one piece of foam on top, three at the bottom, and then I got my mold ready. If you notice on the back, I wrote, we the people, and then the little square it's in because it's raised up. It has a couple feet on it too. Um, I did that, so if I'm doing a custom print, I know where to put it. So just make your life easier doing stuff like that. Uh, so let's see where we're at. 350. So a couple more minutes left. 
and we'll get this going. But like I said, just keep working at it. When I first started this business, you know, I had three roommates. We ended up not talking for like five, six months because I was always in my room doing this. I didn't do anything with them. I didn't go out. I went to work and I came here and I did this. But now I have, you know, 250 molds and I'm in 18 stores and I got a lot of big plans coming. So stay tuned for that. And we're going to have more videos coming. So actually, it's at 375. So we're going to shut it. The warm foam on top, warm side up. It's going to go grit side up. Hot. I'm going to take the We the People, throw it right in there. And the press is going directly on with a mold. And you're going to crank the hell out of this. So it also depends on your foam, big part of your foam, which I do the, uh, I believe this is the mega foam, I'll have to look again, but I get it on knife kits, I've been buying it for, God, all of the years I've been doing this, so this is my fifth year, you can see how much that's compacting, like I said, we want it, as much as we can go, that's, that ain't moving anymore. So you're talking, what, four inches of foam just got squished down to inch and a half. So we'll give it about eight minutes and uh, I'm going to film it popping out so you could actually see how it looks. I'll move the camera closer though, but I'll be back. All right, it's been about eight minutes and we're going to pull it. See how uh, how this goes here. All right, you ready? <laughs> dun dun dun! What a bang! What you're seeing here is when I first built this press, I have Velcro at the top of it. It's never come off. So, get this right here. Pop it. Show you the underneath. That's just look at that, All right? And then we'll get the mold out. <laughs> Bam! Look at that. Look at that. Oh. So that is a vacuum EDC tray mold on foam. I'll show you how quick it is to cut. I'm literally going to show you how quick it is to cut it. I hope the camera's not too close um, because I will will hit it. But I am going to do a quick outside trim to get it so it's easier to handle, and then I'll show you what I do on the inside. <laughs>
finished EDC tray. Bam. Love it. Cool. Thank you for watching this video on how to make the EDC tray. And coming up next, we're going to be doing double mag carriers using the actual magazine on the foam press, not vac form. And I got a shoulder rig coming up for a light bearing holster. So uh, those two are coming up. Stay tuned. Definitely don't want to miss those.